Have you ever wondered to yourself if you could use your sexual energy, your lust, your desire to do something else besides have sex? I know that may sound like a funny question. I'm just saying like, right? Isn't it, isn't it interesting how we have such a strong desire someone? I mean, growing up when your hormones start kicking in, you may be infatuated with uh, someone from high school. You'd be like, oh man, well growing up, you know, you're in high school and you see your first high school love, you feel like they're, your world would end without them, remember that? And, or sometimes you might be in a relationship and you can't get someone else out of your head because you, they're so attractive and they've got, the, they've got your number, your, your chemistry is just off the hook. You just can't even, you don't even know what to do with all those emotions. They're powerful, aren't they? My name is Jacob Adams and I'm the creator of evolutiontraining.net. I have too, I felt those emotions and that's why I, I started looking into something called sexual transmutation. It was many years ago when I think back, my first experiences with this concept of sexual transmutation are when I talk about it often when I had my first crush in high school, when I, it was like love at first sight. My first love at first sight moment was when I saw this beautiful girl and I won't go into her name to, you know, we're no longer together, so I don't wanna, but so I saw her and I was like, she's the one, she's the one. And my head was just locked in on her. I mean, I couldn't, I would not and could not get her out of my head forever. Um, so anyways, I, I was so drawn to her and then I would write poems about her. I would, I would uh, write songs for her. I would think of her. I would go to sleep thinking. I mean, I was just really into her. And out of high school, it wasn't until out of high school. We, we, did a little, we talked a little bit, maybe kissed once or twice, a few times during high school, but it wasn't until out of high school where she actually called me and we started a relationship. I was already close to 20 years old and we started a relationship. And what's very interesting is I want you to take a moment and keep that in mind. Later on in life, I read a book called Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. It's one of the classic books ever. And in that book, he goes into how we can, we have, we can have something like the desire for a woman to drive us to, to excel, to drive us to achieve great wealth. He talked about this. And what's so interesting is I, re I, I really truly believe that it was my desire for her, my, my, just my infatuation, my, my endless need to be with her that made me draw her into my life slowly but surely. Some people might refer this to as the secret, et cetera, et cetera, but she didn't have to call me out of high school. We, we had lost touch, but she did. And the reason I wanna bring that up to you is that as we go into sexual transmutation during these few minutes together, I wanted to bring that up, that story to you because sooner or later in Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill talks about using your sexual energy to harness it and put it into your work. Now, he doesn't say it so clearly like that, but you'll get exactly what he's saying if you read the book. So let me go ahead and give you one sentence or two to understand how to implement sexual energy, okay? Step one, do not masturbate or watch pornography or simply just use your sexual energy or what yogis refer to as the life force to just squander it because that is in fact energy. It is in fact tension. Now. I understand that I may lose some of the people in the already watching this. That's fine. I'm only I'm being real with you here today that if you don't squander that sexual energy, that life force, that chi, if you would, you're gonna have more energy in your body. Okay, like right now, one of my goals is to hit a new level in my career and business, and I'm harnessing sexual energy in order to do that. In other words, I'm not looking to just hook up with somebody and start a relationship endlessly. I've done that before and it's cool, it works, it's fun. I'm only saying that right now my focus is so harnessed in on what I'm looking for and what I wanna do that it's, an, it's become a need just like that girl was a need at one time. I'm, I'm working from a place of purpose to bring freedom and wealth to my family and to liberate my friends into the new level of existence, you see? So I'm using this sexual energy to create that Whereas in, I'll picture this, let's just say I was 
squandering my sexual energy. We'll leave it while well, squandering my sexual energy. Then in that case, I may be sitting down on a couch, like recovering from a sense of, you know, maybe I might want to just eat a burger. Maybe I just might want to watch a little TV and zone out, a little Walking Dead, right? People watch that. I don't watch that show, but some people might. You get my idea? So what I'm getting at is, to, so we need, you need to really decide what you want and then start conserving sexual energy. So step one, I'll do that again. So stop squandering sexual energy, decide what you want, be clear about it, and then start using your energy to create that reality. I'll say the word create your reality because sexual energy is how we create, right? We create with our sexual, our energy. Like, or you could say it's sperm, you could say it's uh, whatever it is, but it, that is sexual energy and we create with it. That's why we create life. So you don't only have to create a human body with it, you can also use it to create something that you really truly desire and need, and need your purpose, start working on that. So I've been working with this for about two years and I've seen a difference. In other words, it's not to say that I'm Mr. Perfect or I'm a saint. I'm not trying to. Ex I'm not trying to give that image. What I'm saying is, I saw a significant difference in my perspective, in my inner realization, in my inner, in my inner home, in myself, in my focus. I, I mean, here we are. EvolutionTraining.net was created. My network marketing company has been consistently blossoming. I'm. <laughs> I'm just more driven. And so what so in coming 2017, I'm going to be using I'm going to say, "Well, you know what? Let's step it up more. Let's go even deeper into this sexual transmutation." Okay, so don't expect any this is a kind of this is one of those secrets to life. That's why it's thinking grow rich. It's one of the secrets to life. You're not going to no one's going to come and do this for you. This is deep within your you're going to have to dig deep within your existence. I, I remember one time I was playing basketball outside my house, I was a little kid, and this is before I had another, before, before that girl I just told you about, this is before, I, I guess I, felt, <laughs> I was a romantic and fell in love a few times. Her name, her name was, uh, I guess it's, it's fair to say, I guess, we'll, we'll, just, we'll just call her Cece, right? So I was playing basketball as a kid, and there I was, boom, 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 and I said, God, if, you know, if I could get closer to her, if I make this shot, and I would make the shot, and I'd be like, and I was just a little kid, and I really believe that was my first encounter with this, and she did, we did end up talking on the phone, we did end up being friends, nothing had came of it, I was a little kid, but I'm just saying that, you see what I mean, that I really believe that when you harness your mind, your focus, you start tapping into a higher level of reality, existence, consciousness. Now, if you're watching a video like this, you may know exactly what I'm talking about. The chances you are, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm only bringing it to the surface so that you can start knowing there's other people out here that understand these higher, these higher vibrations, these higher realities, okay? So think about it, play with it. Um, you can go right now to www.evolutiontraining.net evolutiontraining.net and download a, a free video, a lecture on how to decide where you're going to put your sexual energy into. That's, that's one of the deepest keys right there. I mean, that's, I'm going deep with you here today because I want to give you a lot of value for, for this, the end of the year here for Christmas season. I want you to feel like, man, Jacob really gave me a real big secret there. And uh, Think and Grow Rich is when, you first heard, heard, when I first heard of it. Uh, the way is the way of the superior man was another book I read. Help me get into this concept, and I'll put it like this: that it's one of those things that I could tell you the secret, and it's it's tr it requires true sacrifice and true self uh, self observance to get there. So it doesn't matter if I tell you; you're still gonna have to do the work. And there you go. This is Jacob Adams. You comment below. Uh, share the video with anyone that may want to know a secret to life. And one of the things that I'm working with to get to the next level. This is Jacob Adams signing off. We'll see you next time. Peace.